What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy, Ray, here. With another one. I drank water too fast, and it went down the wrong pipe, so I finished coughing like 20 minutes. But I'm good now, though. I'm good now, though. Listen, I want to be very transparent with you guys. A subscriber hit me up on, on Instagram and told me, yo, uh, a year ago, you did the song you did yesterday. And to, for the life of me, I don't even remember that song. I did it a year ago. So where well, I was like, you know what? That's that I, I didn't know. My mind, like, dude, I have so much music going in my ears that it's hard to keep up with what I listened to, and what I didn't listen to. They all, after a while, start bunching together. So it, it, it's difficult, especially if I did it a year ago and it's not like on my constant playlist, because there's so much music that NF has that I don't only listen to one song over and over again. It's he has enough that I could last months with not listening to the same song. So what I did was, the one that I did a year ago, I, that that one I was getting monetized, and the one that I did yesterday I was getting monetized. So since I don't want to, I don't like double dipping on an artist's song, I deleted the one that I put out a year ago. The quality was shit anyways. So I threw that one out, I deleted it from the channel, so it's no longer part of my playlist. So I'm going to leave the one for yesterday that I did, and I'm going to let that one do whatever it does. And that's what we're going to do with it. So I ha I always check if I reacted to something from an artist, especially like NF. And for some reason, I the title didn't pop out to me. So I was just like, screw it. I'm just going to listen to it. But I made sure that I checked all the rest of them. So, and there's still a couple that I already did. So... We're just going to start skipping them. That's why we're doing Prideful now, because I already did the other two. They were on the list of the playlist that he's got. So enough of that shit. Federico, cut the beat, man. Let's get right into this shit. It's two minutes of garbage. NF, Prideful. It is on you. Ugh. And that tickle be in funny places. You can't sing like that. You can't harmonize like that in the beginning of a track. Whew. That is soul. And not in your shoes. Yeah, it's like I work my hardest when I'm at my lowest. Even unhappy people can have happy moments. Even small circles fall when the people you chose are looking at you like you arm that money you're grossing. Right, 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 right. Talk, talk to them in English. Go ahead. Uh, come on, dog. You got to bring that whole, that whole area. You have to rewind it. Bring it back. <coughs> right, go ahead, girl. Yeah, it's like I work my hardest when I'm at my lowest. Even unhappy people. It's like I work my hardest when I'm at my lowest. Because when you're at a low place, you have to do something that you love to do in order for you to keep your sanity for at least that moment. That's why I always say, man, look, go do what you love to do. Sometimes you you got you got to hustle in the beginning of it. If you have, if you have, I I found that there is an absolute balance that you could do doing your nine to five family time and what you love to do. There's an absolute balance for it. And it takes a lot of work. You, you're you tired a lot. You're exhausted. But you're happy. It's weird. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. But somehow, some way, you are, you're the happiest that you've ever been. So it's a lot of work, yes, but the result at the end is going to be beautiful. It's grind time. You got to get up. You got to be the one doing it. 
you gotta you gotta push yourself, man. Yeah, it's like I work my hardest when I'm at my lowest. Even unhappy people can have happy moments. Even small circles fall when the people you chose are looking at you like you arm that money you're grossing. Brief seconds had impacted my life on a huge scale. Way I'm like, what's wrong and what's right? Predictions I predicted often arrive like they own the place and suffocate the areas that I thrive. Had some disagreements. Business model got some cracks, that's your biggest weakness Way before I got involved, you knew that shit was sinking So telling me to dive in water, you won't dip your feet in Tends to make me question you for lots of reasons Oh, talk to his soul Talk to his soul You telling me that you want me to jump off this bridge when you won't even look over it? Tells me what your intentions are with me so pack your stuff and keep it moving, bro. You got to get out of here. I don't need that. How are you going to tell me how to do something when you don't even know how to do it? Hey, explain to me that. I don't go to the deli to go get my teeth pulled, dog. I don't. I go to a dentist. I'm just saying, like, make it make sense. That's all. So telling me to dive in water, you won't dip your feet in, tends to make me question you for lots of reasons. Keep twisting my words, you got some courage, I applaud you. Tables they turn, but was it worth what it cost you? Watch and observe, lot of concerns in my heart still. Angry and hurt, got what you earned, being prideful. Prideful. Don't on them. Prideful. Go ahead, son. go ahead. Taking what you need, then blame it on me, man. That's all. Prideful, hey, prideful. Calling me conceited. Oh, that's how you see it. Well, that's all. See, that's the problem with you, dumb niggas. I'm sorry, but they are. That's the problem with you. The, the ones that are behind your back, throwing your name in the mud, and in your face. Like, uh, it's 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 weird because when you you know it's happening in a way you know it's happening in a way you you feel that it's happening because they're moving funny. So if you don't have those senses turned on, you're gonna end up with some, some shit. Turn those senses on because you have to trust your gut instinct. If you feel funny about a situation. Chances are the situation is kind of funny. What you want to call me? Can see because I'm the one making. I'm the, I'm working. Just because I love this shit doesn't mean it's not work. I ain't got time to be fucking dealing with your shit, your petty ass shit, talking shit about me, talking about uh, nigga. I'm trying to make it, bro. What are you doing? I paid you to be a security guard. 13 dudes came inside my room and stole my Skittles. So are you going to come over, come at me? Come on, dog. Make it make sense. Calling me conceited. Oh, that's how you see it. Well, that's all. That's all. Shameful. Guess that's what I get for being faithful. Oh, you think I'm soulless cause the banks fall Yeah, oh, you think I'm heartless cause I'm made dog Yeah, that's all Painful Yeah, cause I'm making money I'm the one making the money I'm the one doing it Ain't nobody giving me this shit What do you think I do? You think that I, I get in the booth And I play a beat And I just don't say nothing on the mic? Think I'm getting checks like that? Those are my supporters, my followers. It's my PR. My followers is my managers. My followers tell me what they want, and I deliver. And in return, they support me. That's what they are. We call them the outcasts. You call them whatever you want. You don't want to do that. You don't want to because they'll put you on a chokehold and then another person will step on your guts. You want that to happen to you on a Tuesday? I don't think so. 
We don't fight on the weekends, brother. We got church. We got a lot of stuff going on. What I get for being faithful. Oh, you think I'm soulless because the bank's full. Yeah. Oh, you think I'm heartless because I'm made, dog. Yeah, that's all. Painful. Didn't know what you was doing on the down low. Yeah, still you out here acting like it's my fault. Yeah, I ain't never said I was an angel. No, I know myself enough to know what I need. Showed you true colors, I don't like what I see. Story keeps changing, I know what that means. Know what that means, I know what that means. How'd you go from being that somebody I believed? Into being someone that would me behind the scenes. Can't forgive it, sorry that I ain't never received. I mean, least you could've done was gave me an apology, but you're so prideful. This could work for this could work for both a female that did you dirty and a hater. How'd you do that? Hold the fuck on, bro. Like, nah, we ain't doing that shit. That's a double. The whole fucking song is a double. You can perceive it however you want to perceive it. It could be a song for the hates. It could be a song for the, for a female that did you dirty. And started talking mad crap about you and stuff. Because now you made all this money. And now you above her. And she's still down over there in the trailer parks and shit. Nothing wrong with the trailer parks. I've had a lots of very good meals at the trailer parks. But those type of areas, you we all know. It doesn't breed a lot of good people. There's a bunch of beautiful people that live in, in trailer park. That's something that lost their fucking minds years ago. These, these dudes were shitting your mailbox. Like, I, hold on. I ain't even lying to you. I heard stories about people doing that. I'm like, why? In my mail, like I, not only do I have to pay the bill, but I got to go through shit to do it. <laughs> That is crazy how he hate to combine both of them. That's how I'm taking it. If he means just a female, then cool. I hear both for some reason. My ears work different. That was gave me an apology, but you're so prideful. Yeah. Prideful. Take that you think you not you ain't do nothing wrong. Like you, you everything is great. You all pride. Why you put your chest down and relax? And understand, say. And you want none of this, man. And I saw pictures of Edna's baby girl. Oh my God. Shout out to the parents. Very beautiful. Looks very healthy. Everything looked like it went well. I'm I love the babies. Babies always laugh at me, and I don't understand the reason why. So for a couple of years, I was hating on babies hard because <laughs> for some reason, like for some reason, I felt like they were making fun of me, like as a group of babies. And then I found out, I was like, nah, you just have a funny face. So I learned to embrace my funny face. And every time I have an opportunity to see a baby, I always make sure that I do elephant noises that I make funny faces, I do different type of dances to make them laugh. I've made one kid laugh that came to my store, him and his mom came, and the baby just was looking at me and I was like, uh-oh, I got, I got an audience. And then I went, Ugh. I did all that. I did all of it. That kid, I made that kid hiccup. So now the mama got to deal with the hiccups while that baby's giving me thumbs up because I made him laugh. Huh? She over here trying to give him water. He's still looking at me like, what are you going to do now? It was the funnest time in the world. I love babies, man. I don't know how the hell we got here. I don't know how we got here, but we got here. At least you could have done was gave me an apology, but you're so prideful. Yeah. Taking what you need, they blame it on me, man. That's all. So prideful, hey, prideful.
Only me can see it. Oh, that's how you see it. Well, that's all. The beat, the echoey in the background, the echo voices in the background, the, the whole entire, like, the whole message of this track is crazy. Holy, man, I'm going to tell you something right now. <laughs> I know Red just had a baby. Man. I'm Red, wow. I know NF just had a baby. Got to get back to work, baby. Huh? All right. <laughs> I need some more. This boy is amazing. Holy shit. And like, like um, I put my boy at work. Now, dude, all he does is listen to Red. I was listening to something from the mansion. I forgot what song it was. But I, when I was pulling in, it, it, it was playing. And I came out the car. My boy was like, yo, what the fuck was that? And I went back to my phone. I was like, that was, that was the song that was playing. And he looked up at his phone. He played it. He played it in the shop. And he's this dude, he listens to like three, four times, like back to back. To the point where I was like, yo, turn that shit off, bro. <laughs> like, like seriously, relax. I, I got to work with, I can't be dancing in front of the customers all the time. I can't do that. <laughs> you got to minimize the, the dancing in the shop, bro. It's, it's a hazard. Oh, just going to kick our ass. And I turned him to like the biggest Ren fan. Off of just him listening to one song. Just I'ma show you that's I'ma show you how powerful music is, man. A person just listening to a song coming out of a car radio. That made this person his number one fan. I tell you, he he watches my reaction. Shout out, shout out to you, bro. Shout out. I don't like to say my employees' name because I can't because I work for them, so I can't. And I'm a manager, so I don't know how, what legally there's. It sounds something legal in there, so I don't even want to mess with that. Um, <laughs> but it just shows how strong, especially if you're that impactful with your music. How just one time somebody listens to you, you you just attract them like fucking fly to shit. That's why you have to put them on that mount. Mom, like I said, my Mount Rushmore is huge. It's a whole cliff. Got a whole bunch of faces up there. Cause why not? Who makes the fucking rules, man? I, I can make my own rules of what I like. I got so many people in my Mount Rushmore, it's ridiculous. If they all get together, they could build a whole entire city. Good music is good music, it doesn't matter who does it. Then that's a fact. <laughs> type of music you sit in your car with the ac on when it's hot outside or with the heater on when it's cold outside you light up a joint and then you just play you don't drive nowhere you just sit there windows crack down a little bit all four of them let that crisp air come in with the heater hitting your legs and toes and stuff and you just light one up and you put this song and you just reflect and you just what do you think i'm gonna do when i go to bed that's why I got the pens. My wife lets me smoke the pen inside the house. She doesn't let me smoke the joints in there. I got to go down the street two blocks down. Walking. That that is a form of meditation. When you when you when you completely focus on just what's going on coming out of those speakers and you in a zen zone. I'm very big in Zen. I want to get a bonsai tree and put it in my new studio. I absolutely, I want my things to to feel like a a very chilled environment. I don't want no negativity in there. I just want to, I, I'm into that whole spiritual, you know, yin yang in one inside all that in a bag of potato chips. I'm into all that stuff.
because it relaxes my mind. It's what the brain needs. The brain needs a break. We can't keep on running around over here, running around like we're the chick with a head cuts off after time. You need to find that inner zen and relax. It's a fact. <laughs>